so if I write a statement like this while some x colon int equal to some 45 what is going to happen with the statement is internally an object will be created okay and that object will hold the data 45 there is integer object and this object will be referred by x this is what is going to happen int x equal to 5 no what uh, general what do people say uh, 5 will be stored into x no that is not going to happen remember so that is not going to happen whether it be i don't know whether it's true or false in other programming languages but that is not the case in scala programming language so 5 will be loaded into x this is not true okay in i'm talking i'm not talking about any other programming language i'm talking about on the scala language this is not true so what is going to happen is internally an object will be created and 45 will be loaded into it and the x will be pointing to that 45 so this is the reason i'm calling the x as a, a reference here a reference to what object here integer object that we are specifying with this got it now and what is this val what is this val okay this val uh, if i write something as wire here where some y colon uh, int equal to 60 let us say like this so we can create a variable like this also either by using keyword var or keyword val we can create so what is what is this val and what is this var these two define mutable or immutable nature of the variable or reference mutable or immutable nature we try to discuss what is the immutable nature of this object. Immutable and mutable nature of what? X and Y. X and Y are what? References. Are variables. Okay. Mutable and immutable nature of the references. Is it clear, guys, about this? No. Well, uh, A colon int equal to 40. And var B colon int equal to 50. So what happens is when we use the keyword val, it is going to create this will create an immutable reference. This will create an immutable reference. So which is the immutable reference here? A is the immutable reference or immutable variable. Now A is decree A will be created as an immutable reference. And when we are used when we use the keyword var this variable v it will be created as mutable reference it will be created as mutable i'm telling you reference do not call it as you know object or you know these are not going to create mutable or immutable object most of the people say that if you use val it is going to create a mutable object if you use var it is going to create mutable object no that is not true that is 100 percent false okay the only thing is it is going to create immutable reference this a will be created as immutable reference not the object here remember not the object not the object here the variable will be created as our reference will be created as immutable and with this if you use a keyword where this variable will be created as mutable reference okay but now the question here what do you mean by this immutable or mutable reference what do you understand what is that okay this is very important now try to understand this one so with this statement what will happen okay let me just explain here itself now this is immutable right this is immutable and this creates mutable reference a is an immutable reference b is mutable reference now with this statement just now as we discussed what is going to happen is internally an object will be created and 40 will be held by that object and this a will be referring to this 40 got it now okay now if i say something like this what is that a equal to a plus 10 what do you mean by this what do you mean by this a equal to a plus 10 so if i write something like this uh int z equal to x plus y so which side of this is the statement right isn't it uh, we have left hand side and right hand side which part will be executed first right left side or right side in this statement which will be executed first left or right right side part right 
so x plus y will be computed first and the result will be assigned to z so a equal to a plus 10 what is going to happen with this okay so internally so i'm writing the statement here a equal to a plus 10 what is 10 and what is a here question what is a what is going to happen so a is already referring to 40 it is there already so a is a variable right it is a reference it is already referring to an object an object whose value is stored as 40 and with this what is going to happen is a new object will be created remember a new object will be created which we, which will hold the value 10 okay and now with this statement what is going to happen is after creation of this the value from the first object the value from the second object the value of the first object and the value of the second object that is 40 plus 10 they will get added so we are going to get 50 and this 50 will be again created as one more object okay this 50 will be created as one more object here what is my point here so 40 plus 50, 40 plus 10 what is going to happen with this is the object from this location the value from this object the value from this object both are added and it is going to create a new value 50 and this will be held by one more object internally okay and uh, we are assigning that to whom a only again we are assigning this result to a so this is what we are trying to do okay so this type of mapping of data you know now previously a was referring to 40 the object which is holding 40 now a is to, we are with this statement we are making a to refer to an object which is holding 50 i'm repeating the statement previously a was hold a was referring to an object which was holding 40 now we are making a to refer to another object which is holding 50 okay this kind of uh, you know changing the mapping or change the reference from one object to another object is not allowed for an immutable reference is not allowed is not allowed so it will always refer to this only one object always it will refer to only one object it will not change the reference it will not change its reference this is called as immutable nature an immutable reference is a reference which we cannot change the reference of it it will always refer to only one object so this will be always a will be referred a will refer to 40 only it cannot refer to any other object got my point here if i write somewhere p colon int equal to 10 so what is going to happen internally the same thing an object will be created integer object that object is holds the value 10 and this object will be referred by p isn't it now when i say p equal to p plus some 20 here so what will happen with this statement the one more object called 20 will be integer object will be created which will hold the value 20 and this with this p plus 20 the value from this object that is 10 and the value from this object 20, 10 plus 20 they will get added and what is that we are trying to do now it is going to create one more object what is that object it is called as 30 and now this 30 we are again making refer to referred we are making to be referred by uh, p here now this will work this will work now what will happen after we assign the uh, we uh, make p to uh, refer to new newly created object the old reference will be automatically get deleted this type of uh, nature of the variable is called as mutable reference or mutable variable we call it as mutable reference now p will be created as a mutable reference why because the mapping or the reference of that uh, variable to an object can be changed that is called as mutable immutable does we cannot change the reference mutable we can change the a reference that is the difference between mutable and immutable nature of the variables or references